For the last week, my friends Brian and Alexander have been in town as part of the road trip across the U.S. I couldn't be happier to ride with them again, and today that's exactly what we'll be doing. First, Alex needs to make some repairs to his bike. His dropper post has had a mind of its own, and his suspension fork needs some volume reducers. Uh, one will make a difference, but not like... Because I think I have another one in my, in my car. Really? Yeah, because I, you know... I have all my bike stuff in there. This is not very tall right here, so the curvature on the ends of these sockets will actually give it less space. So if it's flat, it'll fit all the way down to the bottom and really grab on. You're tightening it. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Oh, that's how that works? Yeah. I totally. You gotta push the end in to push the back. Yeah, there you go. How do I swap ways? Uh, you turn the top part. Oh, okay. Man, that's a genius. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Sweet. <laughs> I, have, I have that feeling, you know, the See feeling the that we're there. in for an epic day. The trail we're riding today is a classic Pisgah ride that you may have seen recently on Skills with Phil, Heartbreak Ridge. The worst part is, it's not like it's easy to hike the bike. No, it's not even easy to hike. The climb involves a lot of huffing, puffing, and watching Brian recede into the distance. Come on, look at that cadence. What, what was that? What should you do with dropper posts? Clamp, Clamp it all. It. Clamp it. Yeah. Clamp it all day. I worked at a bike shop with two mechanics with over 20 years of experience. They say clamp it all day. They do it every single time. Alex clamps his dropper post and it's been working fine. Funny <laughs> 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 man. <laughs> We're gonna go through here first. Dude, that's like the perfect spot to take a shit. Look who's eating these Lara bars yeah, like, now. Dude, I, I love these. <laughs> Yo, this is where people come for the safety meeting. So good. One per hour. Main ingredients, dates. Yeah, there's not much in it. For part of the year, you can't climb the old toll road because there's hunting going on. But on this perfect June morning, we're the only ones out here. <laughs> You may remember Alexander and Brian from my Moab trip. Don't fall! Dude, you're fall. sketching me out! <laughs> oh my god. Go for it! <laughs> oh my god, don't do that. <laughs> and again from Bentonville. Okay. Keep, keep going, just like incremental pull. Woo! It was during that trip that Alex dislocated his shoulder. His road trip with Brian was over, but they vowed for redemption. After months of healing, Alex and Brian are back on the road to finish what they started. What a sight! <laughs> They're calling the trip Redemption 17, and you can follow it in the link below. Anyway, Alex is eager to take the front and ride this trail for the first time. Yeah, the thing is, there's loose rocks that'll come out yeah. and start rolling in front of you and stuff. Sounds like glass. Should have taken the right line. Alex, you. Bug in my mouth. Okay. Yeah. Oh, God. Today with the bugs, I had a bee like getting trapped in my helmet. <laughs> you swallowed a rock? Yeah. <laughs> Bees and rocks in our mouths. This is what it's all about. I 
think something just happened to my tire. But I'm still rolling. Just feels like I, I lost some pressure. Hey, dude, we get a second. I got to check my back tire. Whoa, look at all that sealant. It's not losing any air, but it is really soft. It's like... Oh, yeah. oh. Rim slashes right above where that metal bead on your tire is and it just breaks it, that's all. Well, let's see, because there could just be dirt or rocks in there, like jammed in the bead, and maybe we'll get lucky, we can clear it out and pump yeah. it back up. Is it in the bead? It's right above yeah, the bead. Yeah, it's, it's right above the bead. Maybe I we don't could... know, I, I kind of think that that's like the perfect plug candidate. Maybe we can plug, Let, I say we try to plug it. Look, dude, all you do... Because that's the only way place that sealant is, is we, bubbling we out. We I think cut it's a piece of this rubber and then we shove it through and glue it. That's let's it. do it. You want to try it? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. You throw some glue and then you want this to go in there. And then you want both these ends, both of the ends sticking out of the hole. Right. In a car tire, you actually stick it through like, like this. What? This is Where gonna be, is I don't, my... I'm not positive you can do this there without the tire off. You found it? Yeah. Okay, now you don't want that going all the way. You got it, you got it perfect. Try to seal it up around there. Oh yeah, that's all around it. Now rubber cement, is this glue rubber cement? Oh, it smells like rubber cement. Give we can probably hand. sniff More, this and take out. a break. Well, look at that, that's a really oh. good plug. That's a tubeless patch booger down there. How's your, how are your forearms feeling? They feel terrible. Are you ready for some DH? Oh, yeah. I'm good. Oh man, we are still up here. Yeah. We got plenty of descending to do. I am so excited. Keep thinking those trees are gonna come up. Oh. oh, dude, sparks came up from your pedal. Oh, that was kind of that was kind of close. Tree down, tree down, tree down. Tree down, we're good. Oh yeah! Rolling, they're they're rolling and trying to catch me riding dirty. Last time I rode Heartbreak Ridge, I was warned about this patch of off-camber roots and tight row of trees. This time, it's me warning Alex about it. You found the trees! That was kind of funny. I was like Because we talked about it for so long. I just wanted to say I know this is it. <laughs> they will only ever get a couple seconds on the downhill from me. Yep. And you can gain back many seconds. I just went off the ridge. <laughs> no, that was just me getting lazy. <laughs> no, that was getting tired. Never take your eyes off. Never take your eyes off the trail. It's good advice. Yo, I'm so glad that my tire's holding up. It feels great. It feels nice and firm. <laughs> the same thing as I did. I wasn't looking away though. I just thought I could get over there, but it's like a super <laughs> soft leg. Danger around every corner. We'll see. You might have a little more traversing to do. Nope, we're going down. Ho oh, ho! We even got the arrow. All marked up for the race.
Oh, yeah. My derailleur. You did? Oh yeah. Uh, tight spot. Yep. Oh, you need a box one. <laughs> that was sketchy. As that was sketchy. As that was bad. Yeah. I'm riding bad today. Nasty. Straight up, just dirty. Straight up gangster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry, man. I don't want to take you. Oh, that's the switchback that you're going to go off of. <laughs> <laughs> switchback that everyone else is going to go off. I would recommend going to do it again, Brian. Yeah. We should do this one again. Yeah. Got a couple of chuckle fucks in my way. I was racing, like I saved it, but I was really worried about you guys. <laughs> oh, come on, man. It gets everybody. Look at, look at all the debris from people sliding out down it. It's cleared out like fresh dirt constantly. Just by looking at the fresh dirt, you can see how regularly Jesus. riders wash out here. But video doesn't do it justice. It's in a low speed section without any hazardous rocks. So it just ends up being perfectly hilarious and challenging. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. Bug? Yeah, a freaking serious bug wouldn't get it went into my eye and I couldn't get it out. Cause I'm riding without those goggles like a noob. I gotta have to I gotta put on some clears. Yeah. Woo! That's it. This shit wasn't down last time. I don't think I can get under this. Get over it. Yeah, I guess we can get over this, right? Danny McCaskill's. Uh... Oh, okay. No, it was in a high gear. <laughs> That's in peace, bottom bracket. <laughs> skinny that okay. what the? Is this slippery there's no way it's slippery that'd be impossible stupid there were some falls Jesus. some mechanicals and some hostile wildlife encounters <laughs> when you ride into the woods with your friends that's what you're signing up for where are you riding this weekend 
Are you bringing friends along or do you like to ride solo? Leave a comment. Thanks for riding with us today and I'll see you next time. He's like the cookie monster but for Mexican food. <laughs>